Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dave Hibbergo Gamers, and today we're going to look at this PS5 game console that's having overheating issues. After so much time of playing this game console, it brings up a message saying, hey, the console is overheating, then it automatically shuts down. If you are experiencing issues like that, watch this video, and I'm going to show you an easy method to be able to get that problem fixed easy and quick. So let's go over to the upper cam and see what we got going on. <music> All right, guys, so as you guys can see, we have the PS5 that is, these things are huge. It's actually blocking out a bunch of light, but I'm going to open it up. And if you guys don't, I'm going to show you, look at my main screen right here. So you see where the disk drive is pointing down. And if you even got the model without the disk drive, try to go on this side right here. Okay, so this is my left. We're going to pull this side, not the sign with the PS logo right here, this sign. What we're going to do is we're going to push this down. So we're going to hit it and we're going to push it down. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. And I'm going to go to full screen just so you guys can see. Just like that. And it pops off. So here is what we have. Actually, this is a PS5. I've repaired before in the past. And now they're having this new issue. So let's plug it up and check it out. I always like to tape off the top cover to see if the fan turns. Because there could be a couple things going wrong with the PS5. A lot of It could be an issue with dust that's blocking the heat sinks and you might need to blow out dust. Um, it could blow, be an issue with um, your... Um, liquid metal on your APU processor that could have been possibly burnt off or it could be the fan which that actually seems appears to be the issue as you can tell this fan is not turning whatsoever I'm gonna take this little flat head I'm gonna push up this cover this is how easy it is to take these off there's four screws right here you could take a a torque screwdriver you could get a torque screwdriver from Walmart, Target, any hardware store that sells tools. So um, let's go on ahead and take this fan off. All right. So here is the old fan. So remember, if you guys are having this issue where your fan is not working, this is the repair for you. If your fan is working and it is turning, it might be another issue. You might have to watch another one of my videos to be able to figure out how to fix that. I do have a playlist on my channel. If you click on my channel, just to Go Gamers channel, go over to the playlist section, click on PS5. You can be able to see some of my other videos. But if your fan is gone out, this will fix your issue. Now, these fans going out is actually pretty common. I've repaired actually quite a bit of fans. Now, if you want to know where you can be able to get a fan, um, you can be able to just go to Google, type in PS fan replacement, go to eBay.com, type in PS5 fan replacement. I'm pretty sure you could probably get some fans off of Amazon. Um, if you you got to make sure you type in replacement. Um, also, if you go to Amazon or eBay, type in PS5 intercooler or a PS5 extra fan. There's fans you can be able to put on the back of these game consoles, which also helps keep these consoles cool. I always recommend that for people that is you put a lot of use of their game consoles you don't want to put too much stress on these fans it's always good just use just to be able to have two fans going at once that's going to help save that console so now let's go ahead and cut that back on and see you see the fan immediately started turning the fan immediately started turning also i want to let you guys know before i move any further there's a couple different screws these ones that's threaded like this Go on this side. Obviously, you got to put this back on first. Go on this side. The short, small screw, like that one, goes right here. The big, long screw, thread it like this, goes right here. Just so you guys can know that orientation. Just so you guys can be able to um, do that at home. So we can easily pop this back on with no issues. Then all I would have to do next was just uh, put the screws back on, put the side faceplate back on, and we would have a fully working game console. 
All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If this video did help you out, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. If you have any additional questions or you need continued help, please let me know down in the comment section below. But besides that, I'll see you guys on the next video, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. See ya.